Morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's me Jasmine the Buffet Witch and you already knew that because we was talking about it whilst we was getting our tea. Good morning. It's time for another foundation video. I'm having a good, a good time doing these and we only have a few more foundations to go through and I just looked at my, um, my collection and in my last video I was talking about the Lerma. We had to bust her out because we decluttered the Juvia's Place powder and one of my or the Uma foundation we got rid of those so now for powder we're on to Lerma and I was like I can't find the big one it was right in my face it was just the cap was a different color I was like oh okay so we're gonna be playing with Lerma today as our setting powder and today's foundation is going to be the about face performer now I don't know if I've done this already because I have a habit of the way I record is I do whatever I want I typically break up my makeup routine into a few videos if I want to and then I post them whenever I feel like it. So a lot of my videos are out of order and I don't really care so I don't remember if I've already done this but we're going to do it again if we have all right. So again the About Face Performer Foundation beautiful and we're going to continue to use my Juvia's Place Concealer and a little bit of my Nikki K because I do want to finish this one as well. Only a little bit left in there. I did finish the shade 8 and I am hoarding my uh, empties, just makeup empties, because it's going to be really fun to see next year when I decide to do it. Um, and I do have a few of the items that I'm panning. So let's get started. With this foundation, I don't actually need to color correct. We can if we want full full coverage so let's do that today um because i'm also panning this i don't know if i put that in the panning video but i'm going to add it right now um and i'm going to apply this with hmm. you know what i'm gonna apply it with my finger that's what i'm gonna do okay so this is the bright fix from fenty in the shade pumpkin and i don't actually know if this is something i would repurchase when it's empty okay finger is giving me hella coverage but I just have all this hyperpigmentation and honestly especially today there's something about the like middle portion of my period where, where my skin just gets really plump and glowy and everything just looks really great so if I didn't have the hyperpigmentation oh my gosh I would walk out probably with a little bit of primer on and that's it maybe do my brows but I probably wouldn't wear any makeup because all of my blemishes like bumps and stuff are very flat my face just looked really glowy I'm so oily in the morning again which I love that's a great sign it means that I'm actually hydrated and my skin's like okay we got the waters now but we make it too much herb okay too much herb um but I really enjoy that and I just wish I could I just have to focus on hyperpigmentation. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. <laughs> I get on a tangent because we're gal pals, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me just wipe off my fingies and we'll get into this foundation. So for our concealer, you know the deal. I do like to let this sit. Uh, I also have my windows open and it's very loud outside. Look, um, have y'all noticed, I don't know if, if it's something that's come across your alg algorithm, if you're not a parent, but you know how the phones and everything is always listening. So you say one thing about autism or this, that, the other, and it just throws everything at you. And everything is autism. Everything is neuro spicy and neurodivergent. So um, all it's not all of a sudden, but lately I have been very, very overstimulated with noise. I wake up in the morning, my husband leaves, it's quiet when he leaves. And he leaves and then the cat starts yowling. Dominic is jumping, thumping, all the thumping. Okay, jumping, thumping, bumping, uh, laughing, talking, all the things. And then outside, we live on a main street. So we've got school traffic going. There's semi trucks and there's um, dump trucks because they're building another complex behind us. And there's just noise and there's motorcycles and there's loud cars and there's the loud souped up trucks. And I'm just like, there's so much noise instantly this morning. So much noise. Lawn care. Ain't but two blades of grass out there and they gonna cut them all. Okay. So I'm just like, 
overstimulated and everything is like oh well you might be autistic if this that the other or you might be neurodivergent if this bothers you it's like could you just Shh, you're adding to the noise <laughs> anyways i don't know what that blabber was about but we're applying the foundation now so about face performer if i remember correctly this was 22 dollars. nice price this is a really beautiful foundation this is the shade d1 golden right oh, i'm sorry d1 olive and I'm sure you can see the green in this. Now, this is not going to be like that Uma Beauty where it was green, then it was yellow. It was doing all kinds of things. This is a beautiful foundation. The shade is perfect. It does have the perfect amount of olive in it. So I don't need to color correct or anything like that. Um, color correct the foundation. I just do the color correction on my blemishes and hyperpigmentation. So I really enjoy this foundation. It's very skin-like. I believe this is, it says it's, uh, it's a skin like foundation right it's just a skin focused foundation I'm pretty sure that's what it claims a very skin like finish and it does do that so for our brush to pounce it in uh, sometimes I like using this tiny little flat top brush this is one of the morphe vegan hair brushes the 103 and that's what I'm going to use to pounce this in okay so it's really bright right now outside so I don't have any lights on and my curtains are closed because it would be way too bright right now and then of course I'd have the lines of the blinds on my face so I hope you can see and you can see how green this foundation is and right now when it's wet it looks a little jarring but it is a really good color match for me especially once we get all the powders on and all that stuff so the only thing I don't like about the foundation is the buck foot. <laughs> not because I'm like, ew, germs. Like, ew, it's not sanitary. No, I want every little squinch of this foundation. And how am I going to scoop it out with that buck foot, you know? I wish it was like a, a pump or something like that. Whatever, I'm going to give me a, another one of those like really skinny spatulas that you can dip into bottles. Mm-hmm. Because I'm getting all this here foundations. But yeah, I like to pounce with this um, with most of my foundations actually especially because as a person who's using a color corrector you don't want to like mix your foundation with the color corrector you want the color corrector to stay where it is so pouncing motions helps to just lay the foundation over everything and not disturb or mix or blend them together so. mm, lovely i like it you're seeing my little ears. I have tiny ears. My sister and I were both have really, really little ears. Um, that's not why I like to have my ears covered. I like to have my ears covered because one day I saw this episode of, um, what was it called? Untold Source of ER. You ever, you ever see that? Mm. Pure, pure nightmare fuel. Okay. But this guy came in and he was like, comatose but he was like awake but he wasn't blinking he would not talk he was stunned and then every once in a while he would just go ah, ah, he just starts screaming and they could not figure out what was wrong with him he had no drugs in his system nothing was wrong with him his blood work was fine they could not figure out and for hours this man was just like stock still he would all he would do is periodically scream and then somebody was like let's look at his ears jesus what's going on and there was some type of pincher like bug munching a tunnel in his ear i said wrap it up <laughs> wrap it up and i already liked wraps and things around my face and having my ears covered before that but after that honey it was sealed after that i said oh no i don't even have ears okay <laughs> cover that shit up because what you're not about to do is letting the little pincher get him up in my ear jesus good lord mm -mm. so when you see my little ears it feels like i'm naked like oh how dare you spy on my ear <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm just real dumb today so anyways and anywho so i'm gonna go ahead and do what i've been doing i'm gonna go blend my concealer and uh, pop on some brows. What are you thinking? I think we're gonna do the two-tone brows again today. I really enjoyed that You don't need to see me do all that because it takes too long. I've done it a million times Well, I've done it a million times you will see it in other videos But let me go do that. We'll come back and we'll get started with the full face Okay, guys, so I'm back and I started setting my under eye And what I did today is I did use the Lerma to set my under eye and it's very deep I don't think this is going to work as a under eye setting powder 
but it will work as like a face setting powder. So to brighten this up a little bit, I just went in with my HD powder from ELF, or I'm sorry, NYX in Banana to just brighten this up a bit. And this is also an HD powder, so this is gonna further set and really help keep things nice and smooth. Um, it's just the Lurmer is a bit too deep, so we're, that's what we're gonna do. For the rest of the face, we're gonna set with the Fenty. I really do like using this powder as well. I'm between panning both of these, so I've already used the Infallible yesterday, so let's go ahead and use Fenty today. And I'm just using an e.l.f. pointed powder brush for this. And what I like to do, because again, this is a very juicy foundation, I think you can still see, it's quite glowy. I like to load my brush up, tap it off a little bit, and I'm just going to, again, with that pouncing motion, I'm just trying to set the foundation down a little bit so that it's not gooey before I start to manipulate anything because I don't want to run the risk of either um, streakage or getting my brush stuck in the foundation because it's not completely set yet. Does that make sense? So that's what we're going to do. It's very hydrating between my brows here. I went with really uh, a really bright white brow today. It's still cream because it's not the white shade from the palettes, but it's quite bright. I do really like that. So, okay, now that we've done that, but I'm still quite juicy, I'm actually gonna take my banana powder and let's try this real technique thing. I wish that there was like a little bra strap on both sides. I'm gonna use this, the fabric-y side for powder. I wanna use that to set this foundation further. It's just very gooey. I know me, there's always hair on my face. Like I said, I'm going to be um, shopping for, probably, you know what, I think I'm just gonna get a separate acrylic drawer for my brushes because I want them completely covered. Now this is the first time I've actually gone this far and powdered my entire face with this HD powder when using this foundation, but I really feel like I need to. Like, it's just very luminous. And I mean, I I, I want to say skin-like. Um, it's skin-like in its appearance, but as far as the, the finish, this is dewy. It's very, very dewy. And I'm positive by the time I'm ready to put eyeshadow on, I'm going to have to set my face again. Okay? So I did that so that I can go back in with the Fenty. Because, of course, we don't want this yellow cast on our skin and we're just going to dust all of that away okay i'm practicing shorts right now so i also recorded a little bit of this so uh, yeah i just wanted to come on to show you that this is definitely going to be a foundation that I need to set differently. And the Lure Mer just really dampened the brightness of my under eye concealer, so it doesn't look bright there at all. But not entirely an issue, just something to be noted. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush bronzer combo and I will be back. Okay, so we're done. And I went with a brighter blush today, pink today. And look, I'm loving the highlights. This has been such a great find. Thank you, Emily Noel83. Okay, beautiful little palette from Five Below. Can't go wrong. But we are finished, and the foundation looks really good. Now, I have not like set my face down with anything like powder or like spray. I don't think we're gonna we're going to. Uh, I'm gonna do my face play with the eyes and all that stuff. And right on time. Burps gotta have it and then probably do some lip content, and then I'll see if I need to blot. I, I know we're going to, but let's see how far I can go. Um, I am really enjoying the look of this. I think it looks really nice. It is skin-like. set it as 
drastically as I did it still looks really really nice my under eyes look really good as well the Lerma while the color is a bit too deep for what I want it um, for how I want my eye under eye to be it does look really nice and then setting on top with the uh, HD powder it didn't make it any look any cakier or anything like that I hate the word cakey it didn't add to the texture or anything like that it looks really nice I enjoy it so I'm gonna go ahead have my face play and uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video there's okay I will come back afterwards okay, guys, so I'm done with my makeup play and we've got another bold eye on I'm working with my Beauty Bay smoky 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 palette so all the looks are smoky smoky and cool toned but um I am done. I also did a video recreating my own Sephora lip set and the last thing I had on was this Rem Beauty lip gloss. This is a plumper. Uh, yeah, plumping gloss in the shade Roll Up. Oof, I do not like plumpers that are like hot. I like the ones that are cooling, like pepperminty, like any type of mint cooling sensation is fine. But it was a gradual slow burn but it was a burn and as I took after I took it off then it got intense and I was like oh no 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 I don't like the hot tamales on my lips I want to eat hot tamales I don't want to feel like a hot tamale but anyways so this foundation she is a little bit brighter like my chin area looks quite yellow compared to well it's not yellow gold compared to my neck for the center of my face it really works I don't really know that I would do anything to darken it on the chin but it just feels a little bit more out, like pop out art you know um it still looks really good I actually did not have to set my face again um I could I could stand to maybe mattify um like my cheek area so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna use my um little brush just wiping it on my pants uh I'm just gonna use this little brush to do that just in here oh so much better yeah but it still looks really nice nothing is breaking down it's a good foundation I like to do this also when I'm doing makeup play without my primers because if it wears pretty well while I'm just playing then I know that it's gonna wear even better when I do apply a primer so I'm just really loving my blush and highlight today very gorgeous but yeah so thank you so much for tuning into this foundation video I hope you enjoyed it is me Jasmine the Buffet Witch you already know that even though like I'm really off kilter I don't know my lines line you know messing up on my own intro outro it's ridiculous but i will see you in the next video until then please take care drink some waters and we will talk soon all right bye